just uh, difficult to live in this world when you know so much about other worlds. Mm. Yes, Master. Just like people who have a near-death experience, they went to the astral uh, level, heaven, and they came back crying. They never wanted to come back. Mm. Yes, Master. True. And they came back, they cry all the time. You know, it's difficult for them to live in this world after knowing heaven. Mm. Yes. yes. And this is only even a small heaven, a lower heaven, like the astral city that you saw in the film. Yes. Mm. Yes. Not even higher heaven. And Babaji in India, yes. yes, he lives in the threshold of the astral and the earth. Therefore, he can come and go, come and go. Ah. Sometimes people can see him, sometimes not, even though he's in front of them, because he's in the astral sphere sometimes. So his body is invisible. Right. Mm. And when he realizes or oh, he wants to manifest into the physical realm, the physical body, then people can see him. Okay? Right. The real Babaji that Yogananda master has seen. Yes. 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 And his master has studied with. Okay? Yeah, like that. Mm. Oh, did I answer your question? Uh, yes, Master. Thank you, Master. You can write a slogan and put it in front of your computer or on the wall or on the ceiling of your bed saying, it's not me. <laughs> yes. No, no. <laughs> okay? No, nothing. <laughs> Truly like that. Okay, huh? Yes, Master. Yes, master. Thank you, Master. Okay. Any other questions? Well, it was a very good question. Very humble of you to to even realize that you have ego. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you didn't know that you have. <laughs> I keep reminding you. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. <laughs> I keep reminding you, and it was painful for both of us. Hmm? Yes, Master. Yeah. Thank God that you're more mature now spiritually. Otherwise, you would have left. Okay? Yes, Master. Thank you for that. You have improved. You have grown up. And I'm glad. Now my ego is up again. <laughs> <laughs> you tell your ego, behave, or I'll cut you off. Yes, Master. No more contact with you. Yes, Master. Uh, you say, um, excommunication. Yeah? <laughs> uh, no more communicating with your ego. Cut him off. Disown him. Yes. 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 All right, excommunicate. Okay, concerning the ego, it's just very dangerous, actually. It's not just normal, because sometimes you know it's right. But if your ego, you know, is too big, then you don't do it. And you could even harm yourself in different situations, different levels or different ways. Many people, because of that, they lost their lives, just like uh, a Canaan, the son of uh, Noah, even though he knows that it's safer to go up to the boat that Noah has built, he did not, just because he so habitually always went against his father, always argued with him, always didn't want to subdue his ego to listen to his father. So it even became a habit. So even in such a life and death situation, he, he would not give in. Yes. He didn't want to lose. He didn't want to let his father win and say, I told you so. He, he could not lose his ego, his uh, pride, his arrogance in order to climb up to the boat to save himself yes. in such flooding of water and turbulence in that situation. And the story about the queen, because of the ego, she killed her son. Yes. yes. If she was a normal person, you know, like a beggar, for example, then she would not yell or get angry like that with some stranger. Understand. But because she's a queen, how dare anybody not be humble and grateful or bow or kowtow in front of the queen, especially as the queen was so generous and kind. All right. You should be more humble and say, oh, thank you a thousand times. For example, like that. That's even not enough for the queen's ego. Let alone that you even say nothing of the sort and you just talk as if talking to nobody. Like uh, whatever you do is for yourself anyway. Yes, yes, master. yes master. The beggar did not say that as a means of offense or anything. She just knew it is true. And in order to repay the kindness of anybody who donates something to her, she wanted to remind them of that. Mm. 
the truth, but they did not appreciate it. That's the best advice he could give. You see? Yes, yeah, I understand. If the queen had listened to her, or at least ignored it or thought about it, then she wouldn't have lost her first son, the crown prince, and she almost lost her life also. She collapsed. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. If she's well, not a queen and thus had so many famous and good uh, physicians around her immediately, she would have died too. Yes, yeah. that's true. Who knows? Like a heart attack or something and cannot be cured? Oh, yes, yes, master. Or just collapse and then don't ever wake up. So if she were not the queen, then she wouldn't have been that angry. And she wouldn't have been so proud that she was generous and kind because she couldn't afford it. But because she's a queen, she could afford so much food to give to the beggar. So she felt very proud. Yes, yes. that's true. And she expected that the beggar would be very, very humbly grateful and thank her no end. But instead, the beggar did not do that. But the beggar woman repaid with the best she knew, the best advice. But the queen was too arrogant. You see, the ego could kill. Yeah, yes. that's true. It would have been maybe less tragic if the queen killed herself, or was killed by the poison or whatever reason that she died herself. But no, this is even worse. Because she killed her son. Yes. yes. Oh, that's even more painful that you are the one that caused your son to die. Mm, yes. 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 More guilt. And the crown prince, you know, parents, they love the firstborn the most. Oh, yes. 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 yes, master. I'm the middle one anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> I stand up for myself. Anyway, the middle are often ignored because they say the first one... Oh, they dotted on them. The middle one, they're tired. So the rest, <laughs> let them live by themselves. Oh, God takes care. And they also dot on the last one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what they say in many countries. In Vietnam also. Okay. So this ego is poisonous. It's very dangerous. Yes. yes. So the, the more humble, the safer to live in this world or to achieve anything. The beggar woman, she's poor, old. She should have known that. Not that she did not know, but she wanted to repay people's kindness with this great advice. It's a pity that they don't know, but she still has to do what she has to do. Like she has to repay people with the best she knows. She knew also the risk. She knew that people demand, you know, expect her gratefulness. Yes. 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 But she didn't give that because that's just not valuable enough. It could even boost their ego more. Yes. 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 Because if this woman wasn't wise, she wouldn't have done that. She wouldn't have just said, whatever you do is for yourself. understand. She was too wise. She was just a beggar, just like a monk or something. Not like she could not uh, survive without. Yes. 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 She did that so that she can have more time for other things, like meditation or prayer secretly. Nobody would know. That's why she uttered such wise advice. It's a precious gift. Yes. yes. Not a material gift, but a precious gift. Just a pity that humans are so stupid. Yes, yes. Master. Ignorant and arrogant, that's why. They did not understand that. But she still continued to say the same thing. Because that's the best she knows, the best gift for others. In case some of them take it and then benefit themselves. But she keeps talking to deaf ears. Yes, yes Master. This story is similar to many masters. They know it's almost hopeless and useless, but they still do their best because they know that's the best they can give. Yes, that's true. Mm. Because if you give somebody money or food or house or anything, these things sometimes don't last. The house could uh, kaput, you know, be damaged by fire or flood or storm, anything could destroy it, yeah? Yes, yes. The right. money, they could lose it. Yeah. Or they could buy some bad things or wrong food and then poison themselves and die. And it won't last forever. But wise advice, sage advice, lasts forever. If they can digest it, of course, if they can understand it. But as usual, wise advice is ignored. Unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately, and that's how the world became what it is. Many wise, compassionate masters came and went, came and went. And humans still are at this stage. Yes, master. Yes, master. Yes, master. And the more uh, materially or technically developed, the more humans 
become arrogant and more ignorant inside their own tiny little world. Otherwise, you know, the technical development should be a very good advantage for us. Yes. Because without going anywhere, you can hear the sages or read the saint books. That's true. But they don't apply it. They don't use the advantage for their own development. They just use it like nowadays we have high-tech internet and everything. They just use it for amusement, for small pleasure or selfish purposes. They don't use it to search for something larger than life. That's why they're losing their lives. Many are losing now yes, and will continue losing. Many new variants are emerging. You know that, right? Yes, Master. Oh, from, I just read the news and it's terrible. And many other, uh, you know, strange stuff like they just found a super bug for the first time in America. Oh. All antibiotics mean nothing to him. So it's the end of antibiotics. Oh. Yeah. Unless they find something new, I don't know yet. But at the moment, this super bug resist all antibiotics. Nothing can hurt him. Wow. 